Anis Knudsen actually picked the Tokyo Marathon because of the Summer Olympics about to be held there, and she never expected a world event like this would be canceled. But unfortunately, she was wrong. This was a training run for Tokyo. Running for Candace Knudsen is a passion cool. she dedicates her life to. I'm one of those people who wants to accomplish um, all six world majors. So there's a series, um, it's called the Abbott uh, World Majors, six stars. You run uh, Boston, Berlin, Chicago, New York, Tokyo, and London. Tokyo would have been her fifth world major, but the ongoing threat of coronavirus has now delayed her and 38,000 other runners' dreams. You, know, you open up your phone, because I usually go run about 5.30 in the morning, and I open up my phone, and yep, there it is. And everybody's talking about how you know the rumors are true, it's not going to happen. So yeah, it was pretty devastating. This week, Japanese race officials announced all non-elite runners like Knudsen would have to wait until next year to run the Tokyo Marathon. Not only had Knudsen run hundreds of miles training, she'd also spent a lot of money. It was about 12 grand. We immediately on Monday uh, canceled the airfare. I figured if we're not having the race, I'm not going all the way to Tokyo, so we canceled the airfare. United Airlines is giving her a full refund, but she's heard of other runners who weren't so lucky. She's shocked this even happened. I picked Tokyo for 2020 because they were hosting the Olympics. There's no way that they're going to shut down a world major race knowing that in just a couple months after that, they're going to be hosting this huge, again, another world event. And now there's even some rumblings about that. So Caroline, will she go next year and run? So she is going to have to maybe pay some extra costs to get back into that race next year, but she will be guaranteed a spot, Joyce.